Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's been a very long time since we last spoke to each other and I say that a lot because I suck at consistency, but also I've been really busy with school. And if I'm making this video, if you see this right now, then that means I actually have time to make a video, which is great, which means I'm coming down for my big hurdle of finals and why am I talking so fast? I don't really know. But yeah, so <laughs> my life lately has uh, it's been actually pretty, pretty calming. You know, I've been really relaxed, you know, throughout this whole finals thing. I swear to God, we didn't even learn this. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I've just been completely calm. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm never really stressed. And yeah, you know, some of my friends tell me they're going insane, which I actually never came close to that. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. <laughs> I'm not okay. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video today is exactly from the title below. It's I'm gonna talk about procrastination and how to get over it because it can be a bitch. Um, and so I know I think I might put an intro in. I don't really know exactly when I'm gonna put it in, but it's gonna be in at some point. I don't really. As you can tell, I've been really, really relaxed and sane with finals, and I've been able to actually get my work done. Like, all jokes aside, I'm surprised I've been able to get my shit done. And I don't know if you watched my stories, but over the past two weeks, I've been able to complete a 10-page research paper in one night, and then on top of that, a 20-page research paper in one night. Like, I think I deserve like a Guinness World Record for like being the most laziest person ever to actually complete that much work. And then I got a bunch of messages of people saying, oh my god, how'd you do it? I can barely type two paragraphs. Like, ladies and gents, I got you. So, I'm gonna tell you my first tip, and that is, number one, hide your phone. I like this one a lot because it doesn't distract me, obviously, from, you know, things I could be going on like TikTok or Instagram. Because I guarantee you, when I have my phone right next to me and I'm trying to get shit done, this is 99.9% .9 of the time how it looks. A few moments later. <laughs> nice. And you guys are probably like, but Leia, I need my phone because what if someone texts me? What if there's like a family emergency? What if someone, I don't know, really needs my help? Well, in that case, then you should, you should have your phone right next to you. If you have no friends and you know for a fact that no one's gonna hit you up, then hide your phone. Number two. Separate your work into increments. So if you're working on a presentation or um, research paper, then you know, how about you do like two slides and then you know, you take a break in between or you know, do five pages and take a break in between. Um, and <laughs> this kind of carries over into my third piece of advice, which is have a prize after each increment. And that could be anything, you know, it could be a brownie, it could be a YouTube video, or in my case, when I was doing my 20 page research paper, my reward was a shot of vo Fourth tip that I have is turn off your iMessage notifications. Now, if you're not gonna hide your phone, then hide your notifications at the very least. I turned my iMessage notifications off since October, and um, it's been honestly really liberating i mean because i'm no longer checking my phone every second to see if someone contacted me if someone you know snapped me or whatever you know and then once you go into the iMessage app and you see someone actually message you you're like oh my god what a nice surprise you know so um i recommend turning that off my last tip is to roar yourself with something crazy okay like when i finished my paper um i my cousin and i we literally ordered a gigantic hawaiian pizza and yes pineapple absolutely belongs on pizza it is the best thing ever we ate pizza we talked about life it was amazing it was so good and um yeah it's, that's that's what you what you should do <laughs> and actually i lied that's not my last piece of advice my last piece of advice is just to do it because all right listen all right this pain that you feel finals it's temporary once you get it done it's done it's over with you feel great i know i probably sound like your mom or dad or something but i'm telling you once you just sit down and just like bang it all out you actually can finish your work in probably like under two hours instead of like prolonging it for like five days which is what i what i usually used used to do i mean to this day now i don't even procrastinate anymore i just do it hey leah i'm going to the grocery store for a bit don't forget to wash the dishes, okay? Okay. And I mean it.
because you forgot the last time. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I won't forget this time. I promise. And I don't want you to say that you didn't have time. Yes, yes. One hour later. Oh my god. Leia, didn't I tell you to wash the dishes? And what is your excuse now? Hmm? Um, I didn't have time. It does not apply to anything outside of school. But yeah, so that is gonna wrap up this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's nice to see you again. And please, you guys will expect more consistent videos out of me because the next two weeks, I'm gonna be liberated for my junior year of college. Can you believe that? Okay, I'm taking you guys off the tripods. But in all seriousness though, life is too short to be stressed over anything and you know, everything is under your control. And the reason why I want to make this video now is because recently I've just been going through a lot and um, you know, but at the end of the day I just need to remember that there's always another tomorrow and that my karaoke mic will still be there. Alright, I'm gonna do some karaoke and I'll see you guys next video. Bye! Cause I never knew love like this before